This is such an unusual situation. You have the obvious tragedy of this plane being taken out of the sky and everyone on board is now gone and laying in the field around us for the most part. But it has happened because of probably and in the middle of an outright civil war. Uh, there's no question about accounts about people hearing gunfire. They have used gunfire here today to move journalists when they don't want them to go beyond a certain point. These are local militias very intent on making a definite show of force of blaming Ukraine for the uh, tragedy of taking this plane out of the air. The checkpoints show such indications of heavy fire. I haven't seen anything like it in quite some time. Trees completely stripped some 40, 50 feet up by big artillery shells. Um, men hiding in these very shallow trenches. They've obviously been anticipating and engaging in very heavy warfare. So now you have this situation where there's no question that even in the worst of circumstances, Christy and Victor, you, you, do, you expect a certain level of dignity. It's not being met here. Bodies are starting to be collected. Some are still being missed. They're just being put in bags on the side of the road. These are not people. They're local townsfolk, not people who know how to do this. Things like the fuselage behind me, that's the tail section of the plane. There's so much there for investigators uh, to look at and catalog and things have been disturbed here. Things have been taken. Uh, the bodies are not getting the dignity they deserve. So this is about uh, as troubling a set of circumstances as you can come upon here.